good east positioning of the sun, everybody. The name's Blue Fang, and welcome back to some more Hambone Kablooey. I mean, Banjo Kazooie. Last time. Oh. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go on and find a picture with the beats mixing. Anyways, yes, last time we started our start journey in Banjo Kazooie and we did the Spiral Mountain tutorial. And now that we've gotten our first Jiggy in Rentilda's Lair, it's time that we head over to our first level. Hmm. That looks suspicious. You found a Jiggy. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing faces with the jigsaw pieces. I got that first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great. Now fill in the missing spaces on the picture. Press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. Well, we don't have any other jigsaw puzzles to finish, so we might as well just use our jigsaw piece here and clear the picture. That's it! The picture is complete, and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open! That was such an easy fit! The others may just test your wits! Your feathered buddy that you've brung! Useless like a pile of dung! I love you, Grunty. Anyways, let's head into our first ever level. Doot, 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 doot. There are three new moves to learn in this world. Find my molehills and I'll explain. Yep, so this is more or less what... Okay, hold on. Me mumbo token. Used for mumbo magic. Jojo! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of the Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiggy! Yep. So, it, this is a collectathon game. If I go over to view totals real quick Mumbo's Mountain, there are 100 notes, 10 Jiggies, 2 empty honeycomb pieces for extension. Remember, you need 6 to fully extend your health. So, we. Jinjos, you get all five, that's one of the Jiggies. So there's like truly nine hidden in each world. And music notes, there are doors that are you that require you to progress with the music note. I'm the note, one of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. Yeah, we have to open the note doors. This is one of the reasons why many people suggest that if you play Banjo Kazooie, you play the Xbox 360 version. Because the Xbox 360 version is just better about your notes. In the N64 version, if you die, every note you collected you have to recollect because it only tracks your highest note score. It only. So in my case, I'd have to recollect all six notes that I've gotten, even the. Because this is the N64 version. In the Xbox version, it saves whatever notes you've already collected. Anyway. It's it's a heavy reason that you would want to play Xbox, and they only made this change because in Banjo-Tooie, you were flip-flopping between worlds all the time. So there was really, like, no reason- There we go. Ah! Jojo! There was, like, no reason to just not install that change. And it also made some harder jiggies, like, less unbearable, since now you actually got to keep them. Hello, Big Butt. But yeah. I, 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 I don't think I'm gonna make it if that's what ends up happening. Alright, um... Go away! Leave my honeycombs alone! Alright, so these are honeycomb houses. They will give you extra health. They also managed to just stick here, so I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Ooh. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 25. Quarter of the way done with our music note collecting. I'm going up here to get this move immediately. Oh, wait. 
Hi, Jiggy. Forgot that you were just right there in the open. You must search for ten of us in each world. We'll help you progress the through the witch's lair. Commencement. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. I'm not ready to leave yet. I don't have nearly enough stuff from this world. Um, I mean, there's eggs. Eggs are going to be useful for a new move later when we get it. Where are the eggs? Kazooie can learn to use this as ammo. Got another mumbo token. But let's go get our move from bottles. <laughs> the talent trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the left C button to continue. Hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice. Crouch. Left stick. Boom. I am already doing bad as Banjo. So, this faster form of movement should be perfect. It feels so good to have. Go get it. There we go. Go get it, Kazooie. Kazooie! Get the... The notes aren't actually uh, 3D models. They're 2D sprites. And so you still have to stay in a specific spot, even though it looks like they should absolutely be 3D models. Give me all your notes. Yippee, you collected enough notes to break the first note door. Smell. We almost got all the Jinjos already, which is another Jiggy and a major collectible type out of the bag. You do have to continuously hold whatever is set to your Z. In this case, the Nintendo Switch has the, your left trigger set to Z. I don't know why it's not the right, but whatever. Ah. No. 61. Oh, hey, 64 notes. I want to go up that other hill real quick and get those notes back. Big butt, ow! Big butt! Ah. You're a dick. Alright. Give me my honeycomb piece. And then I'll commence the jiggling. When I get another jiggy, I want to commence the jiggling. 67. Aww. They knew. Rare, I thought your team was full of assholes. <laughs> nice. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Commence the jiggling. The jiggling commenced. Meanwhile, Banjo just taking a bad seat. Back seat. Do you see how useful the Talon Trot is as a whole? I think I looked because there's still another platform of these. That drove me crazy. You know what makes me crazy? Rats. All right. Oh, I need the egg shooting move. Okay, um... I guess I'll go get this for now. Ah! There's a move that Bottles teaches you here, so I'm gonna learn that before I trounce on the houses. There you are, Bottles. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air and then press Z to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. I don't like the sound of that. Banjo. Get used to it, nest girl. You'll be using it a lot. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. When did I start sounding like Kermit the Frog? 
But yeah, we've essentially unlocked this game's version of a ground pound. Jump on top of these houses. Get there. Nope. Nope. And then Skablooey! <laughs> so many notes, and we're only like halfway through. Halfway, yeah, halfway in. Anyway. I will talk to the person in this house later. Oh, hey, we got it! Commence the jingling! Three out of ten of these. Very nice indeed. I'll have some more ammunition. Okay. Hey, 86. In restaurant lingo, that means you're out of an item. So if someone says that you are 86 on steak or 86 on mahi mahi, Drew Tailbert, it essentially means there is no more no more steak or no more mahi mahi. 86 item means they're all out. We've gotten all five Jinjos, and as a reward for getting all five Jinjos, you get another Jiggy. Again, we are making fast progress through this world. For the ten Jiggies, almost all the notes. Ooh, hit looking extra life. And another Jiggy! We got half the Jiggies this world has to offer. Anyways, in here, there is another Mungo, Mumbo token. There. Okay, I have four of them now. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I guess it's time to go tackle the elephant in the room. Or in this case, the gorilla in the room. Badum dish. Rawr! This is Conga Street. We hit bear with oranges! Hey! That Kung is orange! Put it back! Yum. Oranges are nice. Anyways, we have an orange. Don't touch Kung's blocks! Which I, I'm not. There we go! Hey, clever bear find Kung's gold! Commence the jiggling! The jiggling has been commenced. Anyways, we gotta go give the or orange that we took from Conga to this monkey man. Oh, Jiggy like Conga's orange. Jiggy hunt fat bear and bird. Did you call Kazooie fat with that statement? We jiggled a bit? Yeah. There we go. Collecting up some more ammunition. We will learn the bottles move in a bit. For now, I want to talk about a stage collect. We have all five mumbo tokens. Mumbo to tokens are important for something later, but just know that you need all of this. While you do not need to collect them all, you will need a lot. A lot, but there are only five that this world has to offer. This is a grunty switch. Grunty switches are a collectible that the game doesn't keep track of. But it kind of does. You push these in a whirl, and out in the layer, something activates for you to get. Now there's another Jiggy that I can get over by the entrance to Mumbo's Mountain. Because every world has 10 Jiggies, and Grunty's Lair slash Spiral Mountain is the same. But its influence is packing the other levels. Let's learn the final move that Mumbo's Mountain has to offer. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold Z, then press the top C button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them from your behind. Sheesh, sounds painful. I wish I hadn't never asked. Bird Brain can carry 100 eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you are crouching. Exciting, huh? Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. 
Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Wow, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Yep, we've learned all the mumbo moves. Not mumbo, bottles moves. And if we crouch, me safe here. Bear not hit Conga. Yar, egg hurt Conga. Your Kong is good shot. So, real quick, Kazooie, you said that shooting your egg from your mouth sounded cool, but your butt sounded painful. Don't you normally poop? Poop eggs? Like, don't birds normally do that? Kazooie's a Breagle, and I'm pretty sure that's just a made up bird. Bear beat Conga, me give prize to bear. I started to sound like Arnold with that voice. Anyways, another Jiggy's in my bag. And we have commenced the jiggling. We're barely 50. Oh boy, I don't think we're gonna hit 20. I think I'm going through Mumbo's Mountain too fast to make this an entire episode. Don't worry, some world's gonna be so long that there are gonna be multiple episodes. But hey, we still have two more genies to go? Two? Two more jiggies. And a health extension! Crap, I don't remember where one of them are. I, I only know where one of the health extensions is. I don't know where the other one. Oh, shoot. Oh, right, eggs, duh. Okay, I remember where they both are. This tower here. We Juju Mumbo's totem pole feed us with nice blue stones. Feed them with your eggs. Get rid of a layer. You want to wait until there is specifically one layer. Do not fire, because if you do, you screw yourself out of getting the extra honeycomb piece. And that is one of the two health extensions in this world. Then, if you fire the last one, with good timing, there you go, you get a jiggy. And that creates nine of the ten that we need. So... Let's go in. Okay, first off, I'm gonna break this. They give you three at a time, and I want it. But let's go into good old Mumbo's house and get some rewards. Me, Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hot boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by which find tokens and Mumbo help you. Ah, uh, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see mighty Mumbo magic. Anyways, Mumbo's hut. You can generally stand on these little um little little stick things that don't have fires on them. And you might want to make your way over there because on the top of things, there's some general goodies to find. Now, this time they were eggs, but he does hide things like music notes. By the way, you don't need all the eggs. Eggs to, to progress the game. Umina, umina, umina. Uminakas! When he says uminaka, mumbo magic free to change back. You, you come when ready. Yeah. Termite bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice needed. Wow, Mumbo. Anyways, uh, Mumbo. The, when he says umina, umina, uminakas, that's Grant Kirkup, the music maker for this game. Essentially going, oh, my knackers! Or, in American speak, oh, my balls! <laughs> Screw you. Spider mite, spider mite, I do whatever a spider mite does. I can climb up some walls if I can. 
make a jump. Oh no! Give me that cool backpack or else. Why does everyone kind of sound like Kazooie? Damn it! I can't see that jump. It's so hard. <laughs> I can't. Oh, okay. That game. I. That, okay, I guess that one was on me. I guess I was holding the jump button, not pushing it. Game. I know my depth perception is bad, but it's not that bad. Ah, there we go. Oh! Oh! Please tell me that there's. Oh, there's six. Thank goodness. I thought I missed one. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done! Now, thankfully that I've collected all 100 notes. If I die, it doesn't matter. I don't need to recollect them all. The game will save that I've collected all 100 as my total note score. Of course, if you were playing Xbox version, it wouldn't matter if you died, period. The game will just save whatever notes you've collected. But when I go into this world, I won't need to recollect all 100. Although they will appear if I feel like doing so. Taking a big dump now. Taking a big dump now. Taking a humongous dump. Oh yeah, I guess at the time of recording this, it is a uh, early or late August, and I know a lot of schools are starting up. Mifflin starts up hella early, like they normally do. So happy back to school, everyone. Normally, after collecting ten jiggies, a little. When we would connect Jiggies, Banjo Kazooie would commence the jiggling and they'd add on a part two of the jiggling. But, unfortunately, because this time I collected it with uh, the termite form, we will not see it. Thankfully, we will see it in the next world. We have also collected our second honeycomb piece. This is why another reason I wanted to save the termite form for last. However, that's not the only reason I wanted to save the termite form Jiggy for last. There is one more thing we need it for because... If you take it over to the exit pad, you can actually keep it. Grunty's magic stops you from taking the notes off the world, but the 100 you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get 100 on each world as they are needed to open the note doors, Banjo. Man, it's so hard to read that like a normal person because, you know, I don't really have the full script. Anyways, yes, you need the termite form to collect this jiggy, although you don't need to get this jiggy, so you don't technically need the termite form, but if you want to get it like I am, that's where you're going, and besides, if you travel far enough, you don't actually need to go back and level. Mumbo magic get weak, animal turn back, or magic go. Magic all gone, must go back to bear and burn. now. But yeah, that's gonna... Conclude it for this episode. Next time on Banjo Kazooie, we're gonna be going further into Mumbo and not not Mumbo's Mountain. Although, if we view totals, you can see Gruntilda's Lair. I know it's called that, but still, yeah, Gruntilda's Lair. As we are fully done with Mumbo's Mountain, we've gotten everything that there is to do, and in a timely fashion, might I say. But with that all being said and done, everybody, my name is Blue Fang, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, I bid you all a good West Virginia Sunday, everybody. See you all next time.